this vlog with your host Pablo Gana and I am here to talk saying to you I mean nerdy fitness to you I'm gonna try to make it short this time but there are some things that I want to get it across and get a little more into the nerdy stuff or just the regular stuff now I will say this which is for workouts I've been doing a lot of running I was trying to do a lot of like I was trying to do the Saitama 10k because that, that really intrigued me like doing the 10k not every day but doing it at least once a week and sometimes twice a week like on my Monday and on my Friday and I like to do that on my Monday because I go I know I ate a lot of bad food on my weekend because that's when I cut loose and I those are my cheat days that's what I call them I like to do it on my Friday because I go like I know I'm gonna be eating bad on my days off so I want to lose all these extra calories before so now a 10k is approximately it's a six point I want to say it's 6.24 or 6.27, something like that, uh, miles. I usually do 6.3 just to make it even, just to make it to get above, you know, so I know I'm, I'm in the clear. Some of it was outside on the track. Some of it was inside on the treadmill. Some, sometimes on one day, it would be like I do half of it in half. It would all depend on if I had a running buddy or I didn't. And if I didn't have a running buddy, I would do it on the treadmill. And I would, so I would do really intense and I would do like 10, I would set the treadmill to 10 and I would try to do like a quarter mile like that. And then the next week I would try to do like 0.3, you know, of a mile and then 0.35. And so I kept on trying to do that, you know, trying to step it up every time. And then so, and then just continue doing that. And so every time I would do a mile, I would try to do a quarter and then 0.3 until I got reach a mile. And then once I reach a mile, that's when I slow down a little bit and slowly decrease until, you know, until I, I reach the, the amount, the 6.3. Running takes a long time, especially if you're doing that, it usually takes me an hour to do that. So like six miles, six minutes, you know, or more than that. Sometimes it would take me like an hour and 15 minutes all together just because I, I would stretch and do all that stuff and you should stretch it is absolutely essential especially if you're gonna be doing high speed you're gonna be doing intense you're going to be doing a lot of that because your neck gets really tight and see that's the thing is I have neck problems and so if I don't loosen up my neck and my shoulders they get super tight the more and more I run and if I don't loosen them up every time I slow down they my neck hurts after a while so it's it's important to not not just you know your shoulders and neck and your arms of course but your legs you know when you're running but just anytime you work out to loosen up no matter what you do so i was doing like weightlifting and abs i think and then the next day i would do that now i only did like three or four days because i'm driving with my dad he doesn't like doing nights he doesn't like working out at night because he gets up at the same time no matter what when we when he gets home. So I stopped doing that, but I did start getting him into some more workouts. I, I got him into the Asgardian arms and uh, he said he was, he said he wasn't that sore, but he was sore. And so Asgardian arms is a workout that just compiles all kinds of arms workouts, shoulders, biceps, triceps, forearms. It was trying to do that kind of the Saitama. And that's the thing is beyond that I would do. So there's stuff that I don't even have on my list. I'll, I'll have my list on the website at TNTM in the show. I don't have all the workouts, but I can assure you on most days, I did do the squats, cause he does 100 squats, he does a, 100 push-ups, uh, 100 sit-ups. Now, not every single day did I do those things, but at least once a week, sometimes more, did I do that daily. It, it kinda depends on what post I have at work too. If I have an open space where I don't have a partner and I don't embarrass them because I'm hardcore and I work out, then I don't do it. But if I'm by myself, there's no, without a doubt, I'm doing workouts. I do try to do workout like every hour, uh, you know, and then, and or like every couple hours on the hour. So, so that I can at least get a hundred, you know, a hundred push-ups, hundred sit-ups, or some sort, some type of ab workout, uh, and a, a hundred squats. Usually I throw in lunges, so a hundred lunges, you know, a hundred arm circles each direction. You know, so those things, I don't even include them because they're just workouts I do during shift. So I don't usually record those, but I do tend to do those. So just in case you work at an office or you work somewhere where you're by yourself and you can do these types of things, please do those types of things because they're great workouts. Calf raises, that's another one. Do 100 of those, you know, parallel, you know, V and then uh, in, inward V, 
guess, kind of like an A, an a. but anyways. And then for food, I, like I said, I do cut loose on my weekends. Now, I, I eat good, and so what I usually eat, like chicken, sausage, and uh, rice cauliflower. That's what I've been eating lately. Now, chicken sausage, they have that at Costco. They have that at Costco, and it's really good. My wife made me some just like in the pan, and it was really crispy, and it was amazing. I tried to smoke some out on the smoker, and I, now it's pre-cooked, but I, I didn't cut it open, and I didn't leave it on the smoker. I'm, I'm new to smoking stuff, so I didn't do that good of a job. It wasn't out there for long enough, so it tasted undercooked, even though they're already pre-cooked. Now, the rice cauliflower, it's cauliflower, but it looks like rice. And that's essentially how it tastes, too. Noosey yogurt, always. I get a pack at Costco. It has blueberry. It has lemon. It has strawberry rhubarb. My favorite's blueberry then rhubarb, then lemon. My dad likes the lemon. Anyways, I also get the Baby Bell cheese, vegetable straws, organic corn chips. I just devoured those. I also had some kale and mozzarella seasoned chicken burgers and sweet potatoes. All this stuff, all organic. Almost all my stuff is organic. That's what I get. Now, I know I say cheese and I say other things, you know, like cherries, manzano, egg cheese, chicken, sausage, breakfast, burritos. Um, and then my bad food, like I said, on my days off, I had Matucci's. That's an Italian place. I think I got lasagna. Uh, melting pot. My wife and I tried it for the first time because it was our anniversary. Cactus Brewery. We love that place. Getting the pizza because they have like they have like wild boar sausage. They have elk sausage. And they have uh, duck, I think, or something like that. And it's really good. Then Desert Valley Brewing. I love that place. Pretty good desserts. They have different dessert each week. I love the Sandia uh, Cider. It's alcoholic, but oh man, it's good. I can get a good buzz off of that. Like that lasts me at least uh, like an hour or two. But then again, I'm an easy, I'm an easy drunk. Like half halfway through the glass, I got a buzz, and then I finish the full glass, and I'm 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 done. So here's the thing. Like I want you to understand too that there's there's a method to my madness when it comes to like cheese and yogurt. Now. What I usually do with these things, I have this system, okay, which is you don't really get that full off of really clean, healthy food. Like if it's fish or it's chicken, like they don't have that much fat. And so, and if they do, they're, they're good fats and they don't make you fill up. And, and same thing with vegetables and fruits. Like they don't make you feel full. You can eat tons of vegetables. You can, but so what I do is I have something small, like a baby bell is small that makes me feel full. Same thing, yogurt. That makes me feel full. So if I know I'm, I have a two-hour drive home, I'm going to eat that before I go home. I'm going to be full all the whole way home. Or same thing with cheese. I have my snack packs as well, which is like half cheese and then half like nuts and raisins or, or craisins usually. So yeah, that's that's how that works. And so it makes me feel full and it's small or like even a even a cheese stick it's small it makes me feel full it's a filler i don't just eat that stuff it makes me and but those things are also good for you you need you need fats in your diet to replenish the cartilage you know in your joints as well as your brain cells you know so you need these things there's a lot of fat in your body things they need to be replenished so you do need it, it is essential so here's the other thing a lot of people don't know this which is don't eat two hours before you go to bed. Don't. Just don't do it. I don't care how hungry you are. Don't do it. Two hours before, you're good to go. Uh, you know, but never do it before within that two hour window. Don't do it. Okay. You have a, a decent breakfast and everything like that. That's the other thing. Okay. What if you're going to work out two hours before you work out, say it's kind of like sleeping, but here's the reason why though. It's not, it's not the same. It's not because like, okay, when you sleep, you're just your body's just gonna boom like you're passed out you're in you're in hibernation mode so your body stores that's the problem with that see uh and and it's so when you're sleeping it slowly eats the food that's in your body you know and so that's that's the thing is if you eat right before you know it's mostly gonna store it because it stores and then like you know because your body naturally gets hungry about every two to four hours so that's that's the window that it has but it stores most of it so you know it just becomes fat but anyways with workouts it's different see with workouts you don't want food in your stomach because your body needs the energy focus to your muscles instead of your stomach 
See, and that's in the moisture as well. That's the thing is you should be very hydrated, especially if you're running, especially if you're running. But even if you work out, when you work out, when you lift weights, you should be fully hydrated when you work out and you should have something to sip while you're working out. Not like crazy. Don't drink like crazy. But you should be having water. And and that's because your, your, your muscles need the moisture. And so what happens is when you eat a lot of the moisture goes to your stomach. So if you have food in your stomach and, you, and you're working out, it's struggling to, it, it doesn't know what to do with the water. It's like, okay, I'm gonna put some here, I'm gonna put something in the muscles. So it's very, it's, it's confused. Your body, you know, so you have to, you, that's why you have to keep it in check yourself. You know, the mind, okay? You have to make the mind stronger than the body, okay? So you have to make sure you get that stuff done. So that's, so that's why you have to be fully hydrated a lot of times, okay? Now, for music, I got into uh, Ready to Die, Notorious B.I.G. Not a big, I'm, I'm going to straight up say I'm not a big East Coast guy, but man, that is an amazing album. I did see some of the no Notorious B.I.G. movie the other day, and it was pretty solid. That's kind of a reason I got into it, but I'm also trying to, you know get a, like the greatest the greats of all the of all the rap music so that's a phenomenal album it's abs it's one that i can listen to over and over and over again i don't get sick of then uh the song uh, mercy by brett young his song his voice is a little weird it kind of bugs me but the lyrics are so good and you get used to it over a while but it still kind of bugs me then there's uh, Happens Like That by Granger Smith. That's a really good song to, you know, kind of just have a, like falling in love and stuff like that. Mercy's more of like, you know, you're killing me, you know, showing up all hot, you know, and and stuff. You just like, just or like just end it with me and just get out of my life type thing. But anyways, Chris Young, Alone Tonight, of course, that's, you know, being alone. And you want someone to be with you, you know. Then Promise to Love Her by Blaine Howard. And of course, that's kind of like a marriage, you know, um type type song and stuff kane brown comeback which is a breakup and the comeback you know uh then bb rexa i love bb it's uh bb rexa she is i she's fantastic so but she has a song i'm a mess and it is in a video and it's phenomenal you should check her out she's super hot but like even more than that she's just really great and she, it's almost seems like she can transcend different genres like she's done stuff with a rapper she's done stuff with country guys you know like she can do all kinds of different stuff um then ludicrous back for the first time the wife and i had been talking about ludicrous so i was like oh i gotta check out some ludicrous it's it for a first album it's really solid i didn't download all the songs because not all of them are good some of them he has like a buddy in it and he raps but i'm like man i'm here for ludicrous because i love those rhymes and his disses and everything like that then i also really got into broadside album paradise now i downloaded this album a while back when uh Slagey and i went to go see them in concert but I really, really got into them recently, and it's a phenomenal album. It's actually, there's actually a lot of love songs, too, so it's really, really great. So, yeah, should definitely check that out. And But that one's more, that one's definitely, like, rock, kind of emo stuff. But, okay, so for shows and movies, One Punch Man, I finally, because I was like, I want to commit, so I finally watched One Punch Man. Really great, really funny, really weird, because it's, like, it's interesting, because, like, these goofy art style for when he's just, like, normal, he's just being a goof. And then we get serious, it goes more into like a DBZ style, like sharp, you know, intense stuff. It's, 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 but so there's comedy and then it's serious and it's just, it's really cool and it's really great. I love the way they balance it. Uh, I also watched the Uncharted fan film with Nathan Fillion. That's phenomenal. It's just really just feels like a short episode, but it's really great. And it's like, man, I want an Uncharted film with Nathan Fillion. And even all those people, they were perfect. Then Cloak and Dagger, I've been watching Cloak and Dagger. That's a really deep, dark show. Really, really well done, though. I finally finished Krypton. Turned out pretty, pretty, pretty solid, but the ending was like, what? Huh? Like, it just didn't make sense. I didn't really care for the ending. It was it was weird. Legion, I finally finished Legion. Legion is phenomenal, brilliant, just mind-blowing, and it's great. I also got super hardcore into My Hero Academia. Love that show. It is so great. I, I just love the shonen stuff, but all these, they're superheroes too at the same time, or a school for, to become superheroes. I've also been watching Attack on Titan Season 3 with the wife as each week as it comes out, and it's phenomenal. It's even better than the uh, than the volumes, the manga. I think they everything they've improved on everything, and they made it flow better and go better. Now, as far as video juegos go, video games, Gears 4. I've been playing Gears 4, 
and playing Mass Effect on Insanity, so that's been really great. Now, comics, comics, what's been great, Cosmic Ghost Rider, uh, Captain America, the new Captain America by Ta-Nehisi Coates, phenomenal. Superman, the I think uh, number one, or, or yeah, and then Amazing Spider-Man, the number one, the new ones, those are so great, too. Punisher has been phenomenal. Runaways is great. Weatherman has been freaking crazy. Mr. and Mrs. X, which is Gambit and Rogue being married now. That's phenomenal. Unnatural, which is this indie comic where it's like these animals. But they are... They're really great. Like, it's really interesting because they're they're humanoid animals. But they... It's like a... It's it's also... What, what am I thinking of? It's, it's a satire. It's satire on our real society on like, hey, once you get past 25, like... You're kind of forced into like, hey, you know, be with somebody, marry someone already, and just it's really cool and interesting. And then the New World, which is also an indie comic, and and that one's just mind blowing because you have this guy who's like a rebel against the system, and then you have this lady who's a cop, and they hook up, and then they really like each other, and then she's sent to go after him. So really awesome, really cool. So, but yeah, uh, like I said, it was cool getting my dad to do other work, do that other workout and stuff. But it's really hard because. He doesn't like working out at night, so I finally decided, you know what, I'm just gonna, I'm, from now on, when he, it's his turn to drive, I'm gonna drive on my own so that I can go before work and after work. Because it's not, I've, no, I've noticed I've gained weight, I'm not as fit as I used to be, because I used to go, I used to go before and after every single night. Now, I know that was bad because I would lift every night, and I wasn't letting my muscles recover, and I was doing cardio you know, like intense cardio every single day. Now that's not good. You need to let your muscles, rel you know, relax and recover and build back. And so it's, that's another thing is if you're working out, especially if you're lifting, you know, anytime you feel sore, you definitely need your protein, whether it's a protein bar, have a bite of protein bar, you know, protein shake, chicken, fish, stuff that has protein, you know, you have to have it about every two hours if you're, if you're feeling sore, if you're, if you're working out, especially if you're lifting. So that's that's what I have to part uh, with you for now. I wanna know, I wanna know what video games you're playing right now. Tell me what video games you're playing because I'm playing, like I said, I've been playing Gears of War and Mass Effect on Insanity and Gears 4 is phenomenal. So yeah, I wanna know, tell me what your video games you're playing. So that's it for me. Stay fit, stay healthy, talk nerdy to me and love and peace. <laughs> Oh, <laughs>